Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can launch Google Jamboard right inside of your Google Meet. Let's go ahead and get started here. You'll see I already have my demo Google Meet meeting active and my dog Mason's in it with me, just does my demo. And again, just for my demo, I have the microphone turned off and I have the camera turned off, but you don't need to have the camera turned off or the microphone turned off in order to do this. I have that turned off just to prevent a feedback loop in my demo here. So let's go ahead and go to more options. And under more options, we see whiteboard open a jam. And I can now go in and start a new whiteboard or pull an existing one from my Google Drive. You can see I have a couple of other ones in here already from earlier meetings that I did with this same nickname of Demo1. So I can import an existing Jamboard I have or start a brand new one. Let's start a brand new one. And when I start this new one, it's going to ask me if I want to give access to Mason, who's also in the meeting with me. And I can say, yes, he can edit, or I can say, yes, but he can only view it. Or I can do link sharing and say, everyone within my domain can edit. Or I can say, don't give access at all. In this case, I want Mason to be able to work on it with me. So I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to share it and he's going to edit it to that send button. And now Mason will have access to that Jamboard and I can, of course, start writing on it. And I can change out my colors and do all that sort of thing. And Mason can do the same on his end as well because he also has access to that Jamboard. And I know that because if I look at my share button up here, I'll see, yep, he's listed right there as part of that jam. And let's add another page. Uh, we can do some more drawing, some scribbling, whatever we'd like to do. And again, when I close this out, this will save directly into my Google Drive. It will also save a copy into Mason's Google Drive. And if I go here to my Google Drive, there it is. There's the one we just did. And we can open that one up and we can see it right there with the two pages. And if Mason has been working on it, I'll see any changes he's made as well. Let's take a look and see it from Mason or my student's perspective here. So the student perspective here, here's Mason's perspective. He's going to see in the chat that there's a link right there for him to join into that Jamboard. And he can go in here and, you know, he can write whatever he'd like on it. He can change out those colors, do anything he wants in it. And when he's done, he can just close it out and have a copy saved in his Google Drive as well. And here as a teacher, I can see, oh, wow, Mason scribbled all over the top of that. So you might want to consider who you're sharing editing rights with. But that's how you can launch and share Jamboard right inside of your Google Meet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.